Well, um, <clears throat> basically done with all of the mechanical stuff for this uh, build so far. Um, I got the uh, uh, e-chain or cable run tracks installed today. Um, and I got the uh, all the motor wiring run. Um, one of them comes up and connects to the uh, X motor. The other one goes through the gantry and connects to the X prime motor. Um, and then there's another cable track here that runs out along and carries the X and Z or Y and Z up. Uh, one right to the Y motor and the other to the Z motor through a Z chain. I don't know that you really need the Z chain like that. Um, the uh, there's a couple things um, that are different than the instructions. Um, I don't know how well you can see this, but I've actually got two um, pan head um, nuts in there. Uh, these kind of nuts. I forget what they're actually called. Um, but the ones that's got the the locking teeth on, on the side. So I've got two of them in there. The way that the instructions show, you will have a clearance issue um, between the Z plate, if you have the NEMA 34 plate, like I do, and the side of this track when, it, when you want to go travel all the way down. Um, now the uh, a couple other things to be aware of um, if you're thinking about doing this kit if you move travel out all the way this e-chain actually sticks out slightly farther than the motor on that side. I'm, I know the lighting is really bad, it's nighttime. I can only work on this after work so um, but uh, Anyway, this sticks out the farthest on this side, and then <laughs> I didn't plan well. Um, I didn't think about this, but uh, there's I actually have a clearance issue um, in my shop. If I travel all the way over on the y-axis, <laughs> I just barely clear. Uh, ambulance just drove by here. Um, I just barely clear the cabinet with the motor and I was right um, <laughs> when I started putting this together that I will hit the cabinet. So um, I don't know that I really want to remove this cabinet yet, I haven't decided, but I'll likely, um, I'll likely reverse the, um, the orientation of this motor and make this sit this way rather than this way. I'll have to move the the um, uh, pin uh, rack over um, and all that kind of stuff too, but that will take make this um, sit a little bit farther in so it doesn't it doesn't stick out so far, and I'll be able to mount this on the other side over here. Um, so, uh, sorry, probably didn't see that, but I'll be able to mount this on this side of the extrusion, and I'll clear this cabinet barely. Um, so anyway, uh, it's been a good build so far. Um, I've only had to take stuff about apart three times or so in the process of doing this, so <laughs> that's not too bad. Um, the uh, one thing about this kit is that uh, the instructions to build the stuff are kind of sparse. Um, there are decent mechanical drawings that tell you what parts you need to go where and all that kind of stuff and that's how I did most of this but there's a lot of gotchas in in this um, and a lot of stuff that isn't marked with dimensions on the drawings so um, anyway I'd recommend uh, uh, brushing up on your mechanical draw drafting and drawing skills so that you can read and understand those drawings and um, uh, take your time and do it right you only have to do it once, and if it's done right, you never have to take it apart again. So, um, even if you have to move stuff around and take it apart a couple times, it's not that big a deal. But uh, anyway, it's coming together. Um, 
the remaining mechanical things that I have to do, um, I uh, have new feet coming. They're actual real machine feet. I got them from McMaster. Uh, actually, I couldn't believe it that McMaster had the cheapest price that I could find on the internet, but uh, they're zinc-plated swivel uh, base feet that are rated for 2,500 pounds, which is way overrated, but they were only f like four ninety five a piece. Um, <clears throat> these I got uh, are, are decent grip feet for, um, I think I got 12 of them for like $14 shipped off of eBay, but they're hard to adjust because you have to turn the entire bottom and uh, they're compliant. Um, so I've got new ones coming. <clears throat> and then uh, the only other thing I've got to do, um, I decided that I wanted to um, get a piece of plywood to run along these three legs to tie them together. Um, and then I've also got, um, I don't know if you can see that one in the middle too well. Let me see if I can get down below here. But there's a bra brackets that I made. Um, to uh, tie the middle of the table to the frame and uh, so I've got all the bolts already installed for that and I need to put those on but uh, I kind of want to get the rest of the table leveled and squared and um, all that kind of stuff before I do that so uh, anyway I guess the next thing I'll be doing is getting that plywood on so till next time see ya